Little black foot. You know what time it is. Time it is. Time it is. Hey guys and welcome to Little Blair Book. You know what time it is. Talking to you guys about Couples Retreat Season uh, well, season 3, Episode 2. And we're dealing specifically with Fallon and dealing with Jalen. And I'm telling you, this is all about power dynamics. All about power dynamics. When your man feels like he has no power or he's powerless, he will either tune out or he will fight back. And Jalen has decided to fight back. And how is he doing that? Well, he's doing that passively, aggressively. And so we're going to have a real conversation about these two and break it down for what you saw in Season 3, Episode 2 uh, for you guys as well. But before we get to that stage, if you're new to the channel, do me a massive favor. Like it, share, subscribe, and click on that glorious bell button for the notifications of the what? Uploads, baby. All right, for those of you who are returnees, you already know what it is, baby. You got the minerals, you got the minerals. Stay hydrated. Uh, uh. All right, cool. Let's get into this. So I think it's really interesting watching Jalen and, uh, yeah, watching Jalen and watching uh, Flynn, uh, Fallon, because I think, you know, the scene that really captured my eye was when they were talking in front of the group, talking about their, their media portrayals. And, you know, the, the clear evidence was there's a power dynamic between Fallon and Jalen. And what Jalen is attempting to do is reverse the power dynamics that is happening in the relationships. He feels disenfranchised and feels disrespected and feels like he is not a man within his own relationship. When I say a man, sorry, he's not respected as a king within the relationship. He's not respected as uh, uh, an individual within the relationship. He's not being granted uh, 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 autonomy in the way that he would like as an individual person within a relationship. He's having to follow Fallon's lead. And for some people, that's great. But for a lot of men, that's not going to work for them. And so I decided to bring out this word power dynamics. Let me break that down, what that is. Power dynamics refers to the degree of influence or control one person or a group of people can exercise over another person or a group of people. There are various types of power which may impact the various types of relationships and interracial in, and interrelationships between people, whether personally or systematically. Okay, it's a degree of influence or control over one person. Why am I mentioning this? Well, I think if you take into account their history when you deal with Fallon and deal with Jalen, I believe Jalen actually Jalen actually started as her assistant. That's a power dynamic straight away. Then they became friends, and then they became uh, best friends, and then they became lovers and friends. I don't know about that, but anyway. Um, so then he ended up becoming lovers, right? But the kind of person he who he was, um, he put himself underneath her thumb, right? Because that's the role he had to play. He had to play. He had to play the role of an assistant, and that hasn't stopped, um, in a sense of what role she requires from him. You see, Fallon hasn't stopped wanting him to play a role whatever role she finds fit for him because that's the role he came into her life with right and so she doesn't want that to change and i'm not saying that she wants an assistant what i'm saying is she doesn't want him to have the, the dominance in the relationship or to be the one that is necessarily the leader because that would mean relinquishing some level, level of control right and so i i believe that because of and and, and I, I believe that because the way they handled the media front situation, she was talking about I, 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 I wanted this. I, I didn't want to talk about it. I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to. But she, but she nuked him from talking when he wanted to talk, and the narrative was being spun against him as some kind of uh, a home wrecker or bum or, or, of a bum person who doesn't work or whatever, whatever, and all this kind of stuff. At twenty three, by the way, he's twenty two at the time, um, and so. You know, it's making it seem like, you know, he you know, like he didn't have anything about him. And that frustrated him, right? And so, but because she wanted to control the narrative by saying, I don't control the narrative, that's where I control the narrative. I control the narrative by not controlling the narrative and not saying anything and not adding fuel to the fire. But in doing so, she neutered his mouthpiece to be able to say how he felt about the situation. Thus, the narrative was formed for him not by him. And I think that's indicative 
of their relationship because there's an argument that happens later on about him wanting to go to casino. He's like, I want to go to casino. She's like, you're not going to casino. And then he says, like, you know, she was basically being rude about it. And he pulls her up on it. And she said, oh, no, I was actually, he said that she said that she was only joking, which is really interesting. And he's like, but we've had this conversation before. I've told you about this behavior, which means it's a regular behavior when it comes to, I think, two things. Power in the relationship, who has the most power within the relationship. And number two, when he decides to go away from her plan or go away from what she actually wants in that moment, I think it feels like a form of abandonment for her, right? Now, bear in mind, obviously, she's been through some very uh, uh, abusive relationships in the past, as she said, or an abusive background. Um, it can feel like abandonment. And your attachment style can be a very uh, dysfunctional and anxious particular type of attachment Hence why you can't let him go um, and you have to keep him so close, right? That's a story enough for another day. Um, I think what's interesting is, um, you know, uh, that now Jalen is now beginning to come into his own. And this is what happens when you build a bare boo. And I'm not saying him per se, because he actually has got his own money. But when you build a bare boo, the build a bare boo comes to life and realizes what you did. And they don't like it, right? And they try to wrestle against it. Similar situation we're here with Jalen. He's like at a point where it's like, look, I've had enough of you trying to control me and you trying to have your own way. I'm going to fight back. And how's he been fighting back? Well, he's been fighting back through sex. Yes, S E X. I'm gonna fight you through the S E X. You know. And so what he's done is that he's now weaponized sex as a way of. Telling her, you're, you're not going to tell me when I'm going to want it. So now you hear her saying, well, I, you know, you only want sex whenever you want it. Yeah, because it's a form of control. It's his way of wrestling back some element of control within the relationship because he feels disenfranchised and he feels dispossessed as a person in the relationship. So now it becomes a power trip and it becomes a mini battle uh, for them as well. Right. And the reality is later on she talks to breezy and breezy brings up the point about why she wants to get married and actually the answer really goes to the point that she's just fearful of being alone she hasn't actually dealt with her ex situation she's fearful of being alone and that is like babe if you're fearful of being alone and you haven't dealt with your ex situation you're actually not in a healthy place to, to tell what's good and what's bad and number two also too you won't be able to give your best self to your partner either right you won't be able to give your best self either because in reality, what's happening to you is that you're, uh, you're, you're, you're not taking time to heal, thus you see through a broken perspective. Because you see, when we talk about perspective, we talk about uh, attitude. When we talk about attitude, we talk about belief. When we talk about belief, we talk about experiences, the things that have been said to us and the things that we've seen. And they are experiences and they form our, our beliefs and our beliefs inform our attitude and our attitude informs our perspective. And so if she has a if she has an askew perspective, it's because of what her experiences are. If we take it to its natural conclusion, what have her experiences been? Because they're informing her attitude. OK. All right. So fear is making her want to control him, keep him close. I just want you close so you can stay forever. You know, that kind of way. Um, and so, um, you know, her not healing from the past and her still feeling some type of way about her ex uh, situation. Yeah, it tells me that she should not have been jumping in a relationship with this young man, Jalen, straight away. But now they're here and they have a kid on the way and they're thinking about marriage. It's a very hard train to stop. It's a very difficult train to, to, to derail, all right? Um, and so I think that she needs to start beginning to heal from the past. Yeah, I think it's time to start healing from her last relationship and actually, um, you know, begin to move forward. Uh, but she has to acknowledge the pain of the past first before she can get to that stage. <sighs> it's not easy, you know? Um, but then she mentioned something about being she's strong and independent. And maybe I want to do a different video for that. But that strong and independent stuff... You know, tells me that she's been unprotected. Whenever women start telling me they're strong and independent, it means they've been unprotected in some given time, shape or form in their past life. And that's probably what's happened to Fallon. So for me, Fallon and Jalen are in a battle uh, of powers um, and to see who 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 who's not going to submit, uh, you know, in this situation. So like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate you guys. Stay luck, stay loaded. We'll see you again soon for another riveting video. Much